Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We're going to head over into our third match. It is going to be, uh, it looks like, Caliber Light against Sli uh, I want to say Slipko every time. Slipko! Uh, it's going to be, of course, 2-0 up for Rock's Kiss at this point. And, uh, Cats, let's go ahead and head in there. Go! Alright. So uh oh Is Caliber going Terran? Caliber's going Terran. He's going in hot. Holy check, man. Now, I've played him multiple times <laughs> when he was Terran. TVT. I remember playing Picnic on uh, Steps of War. That's the last time I remember him. And he went Command Center first against me on the Gold Expansion. That's the last time I remember his TVT. Yeah, Picnic. Yeah, I think he can t take some huge risks here and um, stand a pretty good chance. Now, his Protoss versus Zerg hasn't been particularly good, so perhaps he wants to show us something here. But um, he was a random player. He knows every race really well up until the 10 minute mark. And, <laughs> <laughs> and small, and, and small fire, letters. Son. And small letters. <clears throat> but yeah. So we'll see how he decides to deal with Slifco here. So, uh, I'm sure 10 minutes is going to be the timing. Where is... Where Caliber Light will do something, will act. I don't know. I mean, maybe... I, he has played macro games before. It's not like he hasn't. Yeah. No, definitely. It's just, I think he looks more comfortable with aggressive builds. And it's like a laissez-faire type of deal, man. Like, if it isn't broke, don't fix it. Yep. And uh, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna go for a wall off. That that is blocking. Yeah, it should be right. Yeah, I don't know why it didn't look like that way, but yeah. Oh, dum, 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 dum. Don't forget, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is for the NASTL, the North American Star Team League. The winner of this particular clan war advances on to the NASTL, and that's a place where each team has a chance. To uh, to win part of that ten thousand dollar prize prize pool, uh, that is pretty huge, man. Ten thousand. That bucks. is pretty huge. Um, yep, saying that most teams should be composed of what five five players or so. Uh oh, picnic, main picnic. Maka racks, Maka racks. Picnic, picnic, picnic. Uh, no, Maka racks somewhere else. Oh, <gasps> three racks. Nope. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not sure why the why the why the second rack is still in his main though. It could have definitely been a lot closer to the Zerg player. Agree. Slash agree. Mhm. But you know, again, he knows what he's doing, man. Oh, he gets the slide but just in time. Again, he knows his timings, man. He knows. He left the SU either for a reason. He's gonna deny information now, and uh, it's gonna be tough to stop for sure, man. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, it is two racks pressure. I don't think it. It's going to be seen too. I mean, this this one uh, sensor tower is gonna see that. Hey, there's a marine walking over. Let me see. Oh, there's more marines walking yeah, over in additional SCVs. So. SCVs. so, I don't know how successful this will be. In fact, well, the very... Zerg player only has one, two, he's going to be able to make four links right away. He's already pulling, pulling drones. Um, so yeah, it's going to be pretty tough for um, Caliber here. Yep, and Caliber is in a position where he's just microing against drones while some Zerglings come out. Now, it's important for uh, the Zerglings to get position, but that might not even be necessary. The distance, the rush distance is pretty big. Look at that. Immediate cancels on the bunkers. Marines are now microing back and forth. SEVs. Oh, nice job wow, on the SEVs. Nice. That was sweet. Get some really nice pickoffs, but the spine crawler is underway, and that's just a ticking time bomb for Picnic at this point. Now, yeah, what does Picnic do? Does he go for an expansion? Yes, he does. Uh, another variation uh, is to get two additional barracks and just go SEV Marine all in. Uh, we've seen players like Select even do that. So yeah, do absolutely. Didn't and he do it uh, against you? Yeah, he did it against me. In in uh in NASL season one, right? Yep. I, I was not expecting that. I'm on, on backwater gulch. Thanks. 
Andre. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. It doesn't hurt anymore. Okay, good. Sorry, bro. Sorry. <laughs> I remember, like, every single one of your losses. <laughs> hey, didn't we play in some tournament, like MLG or something? MLG Raleigh or something like that? Um... No, I don't think so. We did. Actually. We did. No, Kat. we did not. We not did. Cats, we did. Oh, was that before or after you told me that I outclass you and? <laughs> no, that was that was oh, way yeah. after. It's that's oh, that's okay. when I stopped playing, man. And you remember that game on Backwater Gulch? No, I remember I two owed you. In uh, in <laughs> <laughs> that was the last time I beat you, though. I remember. Ever since then, I've never taken games off of you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Caliber Caliber. yeah, Calibur is like absolutely dead right now. <laughs> what? No, he's fine, dude. I thought he was gonna push in, man. Oh, okay. He <coughs> look at this double eBay. I love this. I love you see it. how many Zerglings there were, man? Yeah, that was a ton of Zerglings. Plus, it's I think fine, he actually they don't, have, they don't have link speed, so he's not gonna be able oh. to chase him back. Yeah. No. Okay. Okay. This is really good by Calibur. He was able to force this many circlings out. However, he hasn't been able to really produce that many SCVs and keep his advantage. Um, because he had an advantage. Like he should have an economic advantage. Sure. And now Mr. Uh, Slifko is just gonna go for a bailing bust. And if Calibur can identify this and just make a ton of bunkers, he will be ahead. Well, let's find out. Metal oh, Metabolic Boost isn't finished yet, oh, 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 so he can wow. kite these Zerglings all day long. Oh my god, what a great position for Calibur, but he's going to be surrounded. Is it going to be enough? There's just way too many Zerglings. But this, exactly this what you said, this will identify exactly what build his come is going. Yep, he needs to drop a ton of bunkers right now. I mean, oh my god. One bunker, <laughs> uh, one and a half. And mm. Calibur is... And Calibur's probably dead, yeah. Screwed. One bunker. Seriously. Marauders, I like the idea, but... Nope. One bunker, two bunker, nope. Can I have two bunker? Nope. Right, One right. bunker. Okay. Two Banelinks left, if he can focus him... Uh... Oh, nice job putting the wall back up. He can load oh, it to... the bunker! Her, her, her. No, he's gonna get there. Nope. Salvage the bunker! Nope. So it's gonna be heavens last time. Plus one, plus one! Oh, he's gonna plus. die the plus one. Wow. So oh, no... Wow. Th this... This is poop sauce, man. That's what this is. Yeah, it's not very good right now. And, uh, well, yeah, I mean... Zivko looking really strong behind us. He's gonna... Probably want to drone up, just make sure he wins. He's just taking things slow, dropping his Rojorn and his Macro Edge. And he's just gonna proceed with his normal build from here. Just quite impressive. I love it when when, when Cirques do this and, and just identify a weakness and go for it. Because there's very little to no chance that Kuwaira's, or I'm sorry, Caliber could have stopped that. Yes. Actually, there would be a pretty good chance that Kuwaira is <laughs> good. Quiet Rice, dude, that guy Marine Micro is like a freaking beast. Yeah. Have you ever tried but... Baneling busting him? No, I haven't. Because he leaves no o opening, man. I'm telling you, that guy's so good at, at like just defending. Yep. The the more common time to Baneling bust for me is when uh, I, I, I do enough damage or uh, like say they push out or they do a two medevac drop or something like that. or, or Yeah, I've seen that. Any hurt push, yeah. And then just attack from there, and there's just gotta identify a weakness, and then you know. that's gonna be it. Caliber Light gonna be eliminated, giving it 3 0 lead. GG comes out, and uh, there you go. Slivko 3 0. 3 0 in this clan war, and remember, he's just one all kill away from for taking it home for his team. And uh, solidifying a position in the NASTL. My God, man. My yep. God. Slifko, pretty good. And now we are going to watch Slifko go up against Heavens Light, the last remaining hope for Light. And I think if Heavens can take Slifko down, 
he can take every other rocks player. Oh yeah. man, that's a very bold statement. There's a a lot of wow. My my chair just completely collapsed. All right, my chair doesn't even work now. All right, screw it. There's gonna be. A, we're gonna go to a break later. <laughs>